Welcome to another video. This one's about OBS and GPU screen recorder, which is a tool that I use basically for the whole 2024. And it's, it's like my official one for recording games, mainly games. If we were to record other things, I mean, maybe OBS would be better. It's just that for FPS critical recording, that's why I use GPU screen recorder. And OBS came out with OBS uh, 30.2. Okay. And when they did that, I was like, mm, let, let me test a couple of games. And I spent the whole day yesterday testing the bunch of games that you see here. Um, I'm going to be sharing this Google Drive document plus the assets. So you can actually see the pictures and everything that I took there. So you can compare it yourself too. But basically on a 4090, this is the results that I got. Okay. So let, I'm going to explain or just go over everything that, that just happened here with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, with the 10 games. Okay. That we have. So without recording, so I can just uh, explain one, for example, on Cyberpunk 2077, without recording on the 4090, Ubuntu 24.04 with an NVIDIA 50. 555.52, meaning the beta version, I was getting 162.2 uh, FPS value, okay? On the same area. All the cases here are tested on the same specific area uh, for around one minute recording using Mango Hut. When I open, when I just open OBS, it immediately dropped from 162 to 134.1. When I started recording, it dropped to 133.4. When I close OBS and I started recording with GPU recording, GPU screen recorder, it went from 162 to 159. Okay. So I started making all of these stats here for all the games. You can see all the games here. Depending on the game engine, which basically means depending how much CPU or GPU a game uses or how it uses both of them, again, how it renders stuff, the algorithm, everything that's in there, it's how big the impact of the recording tool will be. And in this particular case, it's OBS versus GPU screen recorder. And you can see that the impact, it's, it's huge. And in some cases, it's like really huge. Here you can see uh, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay, we have 103.6 without without um, any recording tool open. The moment I start recording, or in this case, start recording with OBS, we actually dropped, we actually dropped here 30 FPS points. Uh, here you can see the where it says OBS recording versus or, original difference. You can see they actually dropped 30.1 FPS versus the the GPU screen recorder will actually dropped 10.6 there. Okay, uh, so it's like three times the drop, but in some cases it's 20 times. You can see basically almost all cases here is like 20 times or something. So depending depending on the on the game engine, okay, that's why it tests all these games. You'll be able to see this, share it. Uh, here I try to explain what each or how to read or interpret certain um, areas of the um, of the Excel file or calc. So OBS recording versus origin, original one is how many FPS are lost when recording using OBS versus the original non-recorded version of the game. And I go over that same for the GPU screen recording, same, same for like all six cases here that you can see in blue, green or yellow. OK, overall, overall, every time OBS um, started recording overall between all 10 games, you would typically lose 31 FPS points, which is around 24.85 percent drop of the original performance of the game. If you were using GPU screen recorder, the actual drop would be 2.73%, which is 
3.4, let's put it like that, uh, FPS drop there, which means that the OBS impact ratio compared to the GPU screen recorder is about nine times bigger in general, in general. Again, this is a for, for the 4090 RTX. You can imagine that if you use something less, the impact will be bigger. Now, do know that I'm using OBS for the um, screen capture, not the Vulcan capture thing on my jig there, but which, by the way, it's broken for now on the 30.2. Even if you try to compile it, still, it, at least it doesn't work on Ubuntu 24.04 properly. Just a, like a black screen for now. But before, when I was testing it on the 23, um, 2310, the performance was still, it wasn't nine times worse, but it was still around five to four times worse. So it's not a huge improvement uh, between both. So th this, and this is just me being noisy with, uh, basically with trying to see the actual performance difference between GPU screen recorder and OBS, especially for gaming. Remember that on, I think it was January of this year, 2024, I started seeing that for some reason, every time I open, I just open, and that's why I'm, I'm testing here the OBS open version only, which is, I mentioned here on the notes, OBS open means that the app is open, but not recording at the moment. Um, I started noticing that just by opening OBS and with having the screen capture there without recording, without even recording, you would immediately have a huge drop. And I noticed that on Red Dead Redemption, when I was doing the videos on December, between December and January, uh, December 2023, January 2024, and that's where I left a, a post on OBS. But that's just, that's just crazy. It's not very intuitive. So nobody's going to be normal, a normal person wouldn't be going out of their way to install OBS and then think that they actually need an extra plugin for gaming performance reasons to install an OBS to be able to record games. I mean, first, the, the main reason why you're actually installing OBS is for games. Okay, the second one is maybe uh, recording sessions for work related stuff like that for, for games you would eventually be using the VK uh, capture tool okay so that that that's like it doesn't make sense that's why I'm criticizing it through this video because it should be one it should be something that comes out of the box nobody should be guessing that they're supposed to be installing that and two if OBS would listen uh, to this, they would actually eventually merge that thing into the the um, the default OBS. Okay, the same way that, for example, screen uh, GPU screen recorder does it. Because I mean, you can see some crazy cases here where, for example, on OBS recording here, you can see that. Um, let me show you. Here's a case. Here's a case where on OBS you would lose. And this is what? Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You're losing 19.8 FPS while on the same hardware using GPU screen recorder, you're losing 0 0.3. You don't, you're not even noticing that you're losing any performance. Okay, so here's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. 89.8 was the average during that minute. If you run it with OBS open or just OBS like that, it's 70 and if you actually use a uh, GPU screen recorder you don't even lose one FPS which is just crazy okay um, and basically here you can see some of the cases most of the cases here are um, less than four FPS okay half of them are just less than two FPS or even one FPS less when using GPU screen recorder which, by the way, that means that every time you see any of my recordings, recordings for the performance of the games, you have to start adding up um, FPS to it. Between one, more or less here, one to three FPS more. And do know that there's going to be a video that I'm going to be talking about the comparison between uh, the performance on Ubuntu versus Windows. And 
on this computer, it just so happens that the RAM is actually running at 4,200. It's not tweaked. I'm not using XMP. Uh, and for all the recordings that I've been doing for the past, I would say three months or something like that, they were not even using the Turbo Boost for the CPU. Lol. So the recordings that you're seeing that did catch up to Windows, they were, they were not even tweaked. Okay. Compared to the videos that I'll be showing you, well, when I when I do that video, for the videos on YouTube that they do have, you know, six thousand for the RAM, they have overclocked the CPU, they did this, that, which means there's a extra difference between five FPS more or less to 20, 25 FPS for each of those games. Okay, especially for the ones that are CPU more CPU related. I'm not gonna say CPU bound, but uh, CPU related. Remember that on one of my previous videos, I did show you that for every more or less 200 megahertz of boost that you do on your DDR5, you get one to two FPS more for, for actually for many other games. So we're talking a jump between the 4,200 megahertz to the 6,000 megahertz should give you, and then if you do the math, we're talking around 10 FPS more, uh, more or less, between 10 and 20, but let's just round that up to, to the lowest one, so 10. So that also responds to some of the original ones that you're seeing here. So with that in mind, these were never boosting the, the CPUs, and you'll see the, the videos. You, I mean, you'll see the picture here when you, you download this here. But you'll be able to see this uh, on the on the pictures, and you see that all CPUs were not even using were not even using 50% or more of the CPU power. And with the RAM, you can expect less FPS too because we were at 4,200 instead of the 6,000 that I had, I think, last year. Mainly that's because the XMP got broken with ACES when they did the 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 2,300 uh, firmware. 2300 or 2100, I forgot which one. They did a firmware up, update and basically the Z790 just went to hell with an XMP. I, I can't get to the maximum one and that's because I got four slots of DDR5. So I'm, I'm a special case where it's very difficult to get there. I was able to get there before on the 1800 firmware. I can't do it anymore. doesn't matter. I like stability better and I'm not going to be complaining about this, but I got to be very objective about the information that I show you here so that you can use it for yourself and compare the performance of your own, own hardware over there. Okay. So again, I'll be sharing you the link here in the description and you'll be able to download everything here. I put all the notes here um, about how you can benchmark this yourself if you want, if you wanted to and see the performance impact, huge performance impact. Um, between using OBS and using GPU screen recorder. Okay, we're talking basically a little bit more over 30 FPS that gets lost on average um, in some cases. And in some cases you get 63, like in this case. So Spider-Man uh, Remastered lost 63 FPS. Uh, which one's this one? Let me see. That's what? Hitman? So Hitman lost 51. Okay, like what the hell? Um, let me see what's this one. That's The Witcher 3 that lost 42. And basically on, on the lower side, 11. So a Plague, a Plague Tale Requiem is the only one that lost less, 11.3. Again, this is also related to the game engine and how it uses the CPU versus GPU part. But uh, you can see the impact. So when you start recording or doing your own video recordings, note, take notes about this. And hopefully GPU screen recorder will help you a lot, which I'll also leave uh, a note about there on the description. Big hugs and think positive as always. And please subscribe, like the videos, leave comments so I know what other videos I can do for you.